Hey guys, Dirk here from Broke Motorcycles. Today we're working on the Suzuki TU250. We're gonna swap out the muffler with the Broke kit. It features the cone engineering white core muffler. We've welded on a stainless steel bracket for you, included the muffler clamp and muffler gasket already pre-installed, so it's ready to bolt on. And today we're also going to install a booster plug. It's a new product for us, we're super excited about it. It's a cheaper alternative to some of the more expensive electronic tuners out there, and it helps with throttle control, faster acceleration, and that deceleration popping you sometimes get. First thing we gotta do is remove the heat shield. Use your four millimeter Allen key and unscrew the two bolts underneath the heat shield. It's resting on a couple of clips, so just lift gently and pull out. Next, loosen the clamping bolt and remove the mounting bolts for the muffler. These two are 12s, this is a 14. After all the mounting hardware is loosened and or removed, it should just slide out. To install the Brogue muffler kit, you're going to want to slide it on the stock pipe and match up this bracket with the mounting point right here. Just about there looks perfect. Next, install the mounting bolt loosely. Go ahead and tighten up the clamp. Then go ahead and tighten the mounting bolt and nut in the back here. And that's it, your muffler's installed. Next, we're going to install the booster plug. Go ahead and remove your seat and remove your tube bolt. So we find the easiest way to do this is find a block of wood or something to prop up the tank with. So the air temperature sensor is gonna be this black cover right here. And if you gently pull on it, maybe wiggle it back and forth, it should just pull right out. And that's the part we're looking for right there. Go ahead and kind of push it off to the side of the bike and we're ready for the booster plug. Now that you have your air temperature sensor exposed, go ahead and unclip it from the electrical connection. See this little tab right here, push down and pull out. Now, get your booster plug. There's only one way to do this. Uh, there's only one male, one female. So figure out which side goes where and you're putting it in line with the sensor. There. And there. Now reinstall the air temperature sensor. Just push it back in until you feel it kind of pop. Just like that. And we recommend putting, pushing all the booster plug wiring harness and the bike harness back into the original spot. So after you got your booster plug wired up and you've pushed all the wires and the stock harness back into place up underneath the gas tank here, you're gonna wanna take the booster plug sensor and we recommend feeding it back underneath this frame towards the battery compartment. And this sensor needs a an accurate ambient air temperature reading. So we find a good spot is up here, kind of on the outside of the frame. That way it gets airflow but not excess engine heat. And we're just going to zip tie it. So, 
After the booster plug's installed, you're ready to put your tank back into position, tighten it down, reinstall your seat, and hit the road.